Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, we're gonna learn how to do three different types of countdowns for your stream. They're like dynamic counters that you can set all of the settings for, fonts, everything, okay? So the three different types that we're gonna go through today are counting down to a specific date and time, counting up from a specific number, counting down to a specific number. If you're purely just wanting to know how to do these types of things, then stay around for the first few minutes of the video. If you want to get the best from it and actually how to do fonts and things like that, actually make them look a little bit more beautiful, you may want to stick around for like the rest of the video because there's some tips that I'll give you on how to make them look a lot better on your stream rather than the boring, crappy, plain text, a little bit like this. You have this on your stream, you are lazy. And it is as simple as that. Like, super lazy. Don't be lazy. As always, if you find this useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I do help people level up their streams. And you know what? If you want to ask me any questions, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Dean Dana. Let's get into this. Okay, so the thing is... Things like Streamlabs and OBS Studio don't really have like an inbuilt timer or date or countdown thing. And I'm surprised that they don't, especially Streamlabs OBS, because Streamlabs Online and Streamlabs OBS are really good at giving like built-in, baked-in widgets. So they're pushing people to third-party applications. One of the most trusted applications used widely among streamers is an app called Snaz. You can locate Snaz at the GitHub from a guy called Jimmy App. Appelt. It's almost like he's putting applet. Like that, there's no way that that's his real name. Jimmy's made an app and his surname is Appelt. That is definitely a pseudonym. Jimmy, wherever you are, dude, I appreciate your name. And I also appreciate Snaz, dude. You can also go to uh, snaz1.software.informer.com forward slash download and you'll be able to download a version there. This is just a very small applet that sits in your system tray. 30 seconds to install. You click on the download button here and you can download a zip folder, go through the normal application installation process. I'm not going to show you how to install an application on your computer. You should know this by now if you're a streamer. What this application does is allows an app in the system tray called Snaz. And these are the things we're going to be used as the basis for the text files that will be read from the sources that we'll be adding to your stream. And this is not specific to OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. You can use this kind of anywhere, really. Anywhere that supports reading a text file. The first and foremost most the standard place that Snaz will install to is C drive and it'll just plonk itself directly in the C drive. You may choose to place Snaz somewhere else. If you choose to place it somewhere else, just note down where you place it because you're going to need to go into these text files here because it's these text files that you're going to be running to pull in the data from the like the countdown or the date or, or whatever. So once you've got it installed, you need to open up Snaz. Now we've got these output formats for times, for dates, and the ones we're concerned with today is a countdown to a specific date and time, or these chronos. I don't know why they've called it chronos, but basically this is just a straightforward countdown from a, an amount of time, or a countdown up from a starting point, which you can define. And these are dynamic and it shows once you've set these up exactly which file it's going to place the text to. But let's just go through the process of adding this. First of all, the counting down to a specific date in time. Date and time in time. This isn't Inception, okay? So let's say, for example, you're doing a 24-hour stream and you want to count down to the day and the time that you start your 24-hour stream. So maybe you're like trying to hype it up or something like that. So let's say the 12th of February, 2021. For me, that's a day after my birthday. I'm going to do a 24-hour stream for my birthday. So I'm going to count down to that date. I'm going to start it at 12 o'clock in the evening. 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, first thing to note about the output formats, the standard output format looks a little bit like this, where it's like dollar sign D, dollar sign H, dollar sign M, dollar sign S. And these bits here are just static text that you can edit. So they're added there by default. And just to illustrate that, if I now stop and then start that file again within the output format for the countdown, if I now double click on the countdown, you'll see put the 13 9 oh, for, which doesn't make a lot of sense but that is 13 days nine hours three minutes and 57 seconds doesn't make a lot of sense i wouldn't recommend outputting it like that but with the dot like that we can stop and start reopen this countdown file it puts the dots between it makes it a little bit more sense but still not brilliant so i'm going to go into this and i'm actually going to just put like a space and then days hours and i'm not so bothered about seconds or counting down to a date that's like quite a few days in the future i don't know if that makes a lot of sense but it's completely personal preference i'm going to stop that and start it we'll close the file refresh it by opening the file again and all of a sudden it looks a little bit more sensible in terms 
terms of a date and time. So now that we've got this, we simply need to go into Streamlabs OBS or your OBS Studio software or OBS Live, whatever, anywhere that can read a text file. We need to go onto the plus icon here to add a new source. You go onto the text source to add the source. And at this point, you can start adding the text and amending that. We'll do the amending of the text and making it look beautiful later on in the video. But for now, we're just going to add a new text file. We're going to do add source here. What we need to do here, we've got all the settings, the fonts, the size, and all that kind of stuff. Let's just set it a little bit larger. There's an icon here. As there's no text that it's reading, normally you would put some static text here, like 24-hour stream. But for this, we need to read from file, and we need to browse to that SNAS file. So here, we're going to go to the countdown file. And there, it's picking up that file now. So once you've added that, you may want to beautify the text. We'll show you some detail about that later on in the video. This is now working exactly as intended and reading the file. Uh, obviously, at the moment, we're not seeing this move because we've not got the seconds in there. But if you have, the, there you go, it just moved to the minutes. If you did have the seconds in there, it would show the seconds moving as well because it's reading from that file. If you find that it's not reading from the file, just make sure you close down the text file itself. Don't have the text file open. And also, just make sure you've got SNAS open and minimized to your tray. You do have to have the application open for it to write to those files. We're just going to hop back into SNAS and do the other count up and count down as well. So now we're going to do a countdown of like just 30 minutes, like a 30 minute countdown, like a dynamic thing you may want to just set on the stream to do something like 30 minutes until you try and eat your own arm live on stream, which I wouldn't recommend because it is against Twitch terms and service. But I mean, you do you, okay? So here, similar thing, we have to set the countdown from, and this is like hours, minutes, seconds. Let's just do a 30 minute countdown here. The output format, if we just hover over this, there are some examples where you can just kind of change it. So if you're unsure about what to do, just to hover over it and it'll give you some examples of how you can do the format. And this is where you would edit it. So here I've just added mins and sex after it. No innuendos, please. And we just want to stop this, and then I'm going to start it again. And now we need to go to the Chrono Down file. We can copy the clipboard to path, paste it here if you want, and it will open up that text file. And now we see a couple of seconds have passed. When we open this text file, we'll see it there, and it will continually update, and we'll just demonstrate that by, there you go, opening and closing the file. But finally, we want to do the counting up from a certain time. We want to do counting down from like zero, in which case you can just set it to zero. And again, you can set these if you want, customize it yourself. Now when we start this, it'll update to the chrono up.txt file, which we've got just here. So if we click on the chrono up, it's counting up from zero. I'm not quite happy with how this is looking here. So we've got the day in there. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm going to get rid of that. On the minutes and seconds, stop, start. Go to the chrono up and that looks a lot better zero zero hour zero zero minutes and we've gone 25 seconds and then we just repeat the exact same process to add that onto your stream count up click add source read from file browse to the file and we want to count up open this gives a preview of what it looks like we see that this is working fine okay we've got those here at so this point i'm pretty happy with how that kind of looks but i still think that we can beautify these and make these a lot better so just in terms of text beautification let's right click and click on properties on the text files first of all if you're using just Arial font or the standard fonts you're an idiot so just choose like a, an interesting new font okay so something a little bit bolder a little bit nicer obviously you can adjust the text file i'd highly recommend not keeping the text file size low and then resizing it i'd recommend trying to get the text size about right in this section here but then making micro adjustments adjustments to it once you've set the text I'm leaving it in <laughs> once you set the text file size here I would recommend enabling anti-aliasing if your software does allow it that just smooths the edges out a little bit we can transform to uppercase lowercase things like that so here's where we get into like the colors and the opacity you can make these like semi-opaque you can just add like quite a cool effect if you're just wanting like a shimmer uh, but you still want the content behind it to be seen I'm gonna leave it at like 70 here there's some view of the content behind it. At this point, we can add like an outline to it. I would recommend adding a lot outline to the text in most cases, because that just means that no matter what game you're playing or whatever, there's two different colors that contrast each other within the text itself, rather than relying on the background to contrast the text, if that makes sense. For instance, if you've got white text, and you're in like a word document it will be white behind you will not be able to see the text if you've got a black outline behind that text you will always be able to see the text i'm just going to put this as a as a black outline because i think that looks kind of cool that looks pretty cool on on the stream there 
with white text. And we're just going to give the text like a pretty cool color. I quite like the sort of the pinks and the cyan colors. So we're going to base it with that. Then I'm going to put a gradient color in here. So we click the gradient. This is in Streamlabs OBS. That looks kind of okay, but I don't like the second color. So let's just change the gradient color to a more sort of cyan -y color. I'm still getting there with that, but I'm still not happy with it. So I'm going to change the gradient direction. I'm going to change this an offset angle. 135 that just puts it starting at cyan in the bottom left and ending in the top right here as you can see looks much nicer and that's kind of okay it looks a lot better now some other tips here you can right click and add a filter to your text i'm just going to leave the presets off for now i'm going to add a filter here and i'm going to put a scroll on this this will just allow the text to scroll through and we can do the settings for that let's just put the horizontal speed up a little bit to allow this to scroll through and it just makes it a little bit more interesting you can limit the width and the height and you can have it on loop or you can have it just as a, as a single push through but I wouldn't recommend having it as a single push through unless you've got a specific purpose for that. Pretty okay with this. Now, another quick tip here, you can hold Alt on your keyboard and just adjust and crop this to a smaller size. And then you can just place it wherever you want and it won't string out the text further. So you don't then have to resize it fully. You can actually keep a high size, but a low portion of your screen. And just to illustrate here on the filters, you can also do a vertical speed as well. So let's put a vertical speed and now it's going like across as well. But if we just put this horizontal speed back to zero, it will scroll up and down, which is kind of a cool effect as well. So there you have it, how you can set up counters to count down to a date, count up from a time or count down to a time really, really easily and make them look decent on your stream. OK, drop me comments. Let me know any tips that you've got. That's tips, not tits before you your dirty minds run away with you. I don't want to hear it. OK, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video.